Corruption in Uganda has uh, taken on soaring levels. It is endemic. Uh, it is uh, done in networks and it has evolved uh, to such a point that it is almost generally acceptable uh, and it is eating away at our country very fast. Citizens should rise up, should uh, be active because ultimately we are the ones who will suffer the effects of corruption uh, because one, we are going to pay back for each and every cent that uh, is eaten, we are paying back even when we have not eaten this money. Institutions that have been uh, empowered or that have been put in place to fight corruption are unable to do this because they are not independent. So we call upon the president and the powers that be that they should let these institutions be independent, let them do their work, and we fight corruption. We squeeze the taxpayer, we keep squeezing them, and yet the services are not there. You go to our hospitals, you go to our schools, our roads, they are in bad shape, and yet everyone pays a tax. And why are they not effective? We are squeezing out so much to pay back the, day we, that, the debt we owe, and uh, when we attract more debt or when we borrow, what we borrow we misuse and we do not follow it up. When government comes and says, oh, we give you a road and the people are excited and they thank government, thank you for this road, people do not know that this is actually their money. This is their taxes uh, because we get loans majorly for infrastructure development and so when we attract these loans, they are supposed to do this work. That is why we have borrowed the, the funds for and the taxpayer is supposed to pay back. Government should be accountable. Citizens should hold the government to account for what it has borrowed, because it borrows on my behalf and will implement on my behalf. Well, citizens can do, that, do this in very many different ways, right from the village level, right from household level, sub-county, district. We have leadership at all those positions, yes? But also the ministries, departments and agencies we need to see citizens coming out and requesting information because the laws are in place. So we have the Access to Information Act. It is your right to go to the district and inquire to get a budget and see how a certain, you know, like uh, certain funds have been spent. If they are constructing a road, if it's a borehole, if it is for any project, you're entitled to go and look at the budget and then do ground monitoring uh, so that you can follow up and see at whatever stage, if you feel you're not comfortable or there's something going wrong, you can raise that up and then it should be at rest at that point. Corruption has, has eaten up, like I said, it has eaten up our country. It has basically eaten up almost every sector and so it cannot be delinked still from human rights. Like I, to I talked about uh, the, health, the hospitals, yeah? we borrow for many other things, but also for the hospitals and even the roads and ETC. But we see they are underfunded. They are not, you know, like prioritized. We don't see medicines. And uh, some of this money, or most of it, is just eaten away. The anti-corruption code, I must salute them so far for the work well done, uh, despite the challenges. But uh, as it is, it would, it's, it's overwhelmed. It cannot handle these, uh, all these uh, corruption cases. One, uh, they need resources, and uh, the, both human and financial. Yeah, but also they need that independence. We do not need to see uh, interference by the executive. We need to see the head of state uh, champion this cause. Otherwise, if he is not seen to support the fight against corruption, both in, 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 um, by his actions as well as words, then uh, I'm afraid this might be a lost battle. I appeal to government once again. We do not need so much debt. There are some things, some expenses that are not, uh, they, they are not called for even. They are not uh, priority right now. Right now where we are with this pandemic, with the effects, we need to be investing more in production sectors. We need to front the human, you know, like uh, the sectors that are focusing on human resource, social sectors, health, agriculture 
we do not need to be focusing on you know creating more districts bringing in more members of parliament because that is wasteful expenditure and it will not generate us any more resources to pay back rather we need to focus on generating some more money to pay back some of these uh, debts